It's a great event. It's really busy. It's really noisy in there. Um, there's a lot of students. I just feel bad that we can't take them all. Um, really high standard of students. Really high standard of students with good confidence and kind of emotional intelligence and stuff away from the studies as well. It's students that have the confidence to talk to us. It's not always easy. I've not done this event before and I have to say it's a bit, I feel a bit like X Factor. I'm on X Factor and uh, I'm not Simon Cowell. But um, it's just a great way for them to talk to us and give them, make them have the confidence to come up to us um, in the social areas and not when they're just on a one-to-one -one with us. And it can be quite difficult for them to talk to us. They've not been all able to get a spot with us on our one-to-ones, but it's been great to meet them in social um, lunches and things and actually see them have the confidence to come and talk to us. Top tips for employability, I always say, as well as their coursework and the grades from the courses, actually, it's massively biased on personality, confidence, Equally, it's what they do outside of the course. So, you know, if somebody's telling me they want to be a producer, um, are they making short films, are they vlogging, or if they're writing, are they blogging, are they creating content away from university? Uh, because you come out with some brilliant students and actually how we judge one against the other, sometimes it's got to be what they're doing away from uni. And also it is about confidence and the confidence and personality to not only come and talk to us, to, but to work in this industry. It's no good being a shy retiring flower and coming to work in telly. So it's good to see them today being, you know, all out there and I think there's a there's a difference between confidence and cockiness. So we like confidence um, and it's been great to meet some really confident students um, that I think will be brilliant for ITV.